Sometimes there's confusion about how to graph a line containing one variable. For example, here we want to graph the line y equals negative 4. A line containing one variable is either going to be a vertical line or a horizontal line. And I always recommend that students go back to making a t-table or a table of values until they're sure about what type of line this would be. So let the first column represent possible x values and the y column represent possible y values. But what's different about this type of equation is it's telling us that y must equal negative 4. So whatever x value we select, y must be negative 4. So let's go ahead and record negative 4 in the y column, let's say three times. Now notice how this equation does not contain x, which means x can be any value that we want. So for example, we could let x equal 0, 1, and 2. And remember, every time we have x in a corresponding y value, it represents a point on the given line. So this tells us the line must contain the point where the x-coordinate is 0 and the y-coordinate is negative 4. When x equals 1 and y equals negative 4, it tells us the line must contain the point where the x-coordinate is 1 and the y-coordinate is negative 4. And this last row tells us the line must contain the point where the x-coordinate is 2 and the y-coordinate is negative 4. So if we plot these three points, we can then sketch the given line y equals negative 4. The point 0, negative 4 would be this point here on the y-axis, or our y-intercept. The point 1, negative 4, we'd move one unit to the right of the origin and then down four units. And then for the point 2, negative 4, we move right two units and down four units. And now we can quickly see that y equals negative 4 is a horizontal line passing through these three points. And notice how it does intersect the y-axis at negative 4. So if we do this enough times, I think we'll recognize that when we have a line in the form of y equals some constant c, it's going to be a horizontal line intersecting the y-axis at c. But until then, we can always rely on a table of values to graph a line correctly containing one variable. I hope this was helpful.